Hey, how you doing? How's quarantine treating you? She being nice. I wanted to address the coronavirus with its own video. I'm not in any position to give advice, so I will not be doing that. But what I can do is give you an update on how I'm doing, how it's affecting my family, and how it will be affecting this channel. I need to make a video addressing this virus because I may be an idiot, but I'm not dumb. This video is long overdue. You might notice the change in location. I'm working from my parents' house now. Um, and actually my son is sleeping while I'm doing this. I've been quarantining for a couple of weeks, but since March 15th, um, immediately after I finished filming that last video that I did, um, IT Senpai, the guy that I work with, um, we moved all of our stuff out of the office and we're working from our own homes now so that we don't infect each other. I'll be making videos from here in my parents' house from now on. So there might be times when you hear people yelling to each other from across the house, um, a vacuum cleaner, uh, pots and pans banging when somebody's cooking. Um, you might hear my son talking and playing in the background. You might even see his little hands poking in to help me color a drawing. The governor of my state finally made the official order to stay at home and accept essential activities like buying groceries, seeking medical care, um, or going to work for essential businesses, um, and also outdoor activities that can be done alone and away from everyone else, like walking, biking, gardening, stuff like that. So meeting with anyone who is not a member of your household is prohibited and enforceable by law. I know many of you are taking this virus seriously. And as somebody who lives with my two elderly parents, I can't thank you enough. They are wonderful, and I would do anything to protect them. But I also know that there are some very nice people who are not taking it as seriously and feel that this whole stay-at-home, shelter-in-place, self-quarantine thing is an overreaction. And uh, spoiler alert for season 20 of Earth, it's not an overreaction. The coronavirus is very serious. It's unlike anything we have seen in our lives and perhaps we'll ever see in our lifetime. So each generation has a big world event that disrupts daily life. And the last one was World War II. And unfortunately, most of the people who lived through that incredible time are now gone. This is the next big world event, and we need to accept that our normal life, our routines, everything that we're used to will be put on hold for a while. Our normal is gone. For now. I know that this virus can be carried and passed on by people who don't show any symptoms. I also know that it can be spread without having to attach to a host such as by way of touching something. So here's what we are doing. We're pretending or acting as if we have the coronavirus already and will infect others. This helps us keep perspective and it makes us very conscious of our actions to help keep others safe. We're also pretending or acting like everyone else has the virus because anyone can get it at any time even after they have been tested. Uh, we're staying at home and only going outside by ourselves, so like for a walk or playing in the yard. We are not occupying the same space as others, so giving everyone at least a six foot bubble and staying away. We're ordering our groceries online and disinfecting any packages that come to our door and doorknobs. We're washing our hands thoroughly and frequently, and we learned that the backs of our nails and inside of our nails and our wrists are often overlooked. And there is never a time when we are with anyone who does not live in our house. I'm optimistic, but we're mentally prepared for this to last for many months. We know that medical workers are preparing for the worst, so we're doing everything that we can to prolong and hopefully prevent the event that medical workers in our area will have to turn down patients because of overflow. Because we know that that's already happening in some areas right now. I know that to some, this whole thing might seem like an overreaction, but this has the potential to be catastrophic, and we're doing everything we possibly can to help bring that potential down. In the best case scenario, we will look back at this time and feel like it was an overreaction because it did not reach those levels of catastrophe that it could have. 
because we know that the worse it gets, the harder it is to stop. So it is important, you know, it is imperative to be acting now. Here's a video by Mark Rober we watched with my son um, to help illustrate some of these ideas. I'll put the link in the description, but he thought it was really funny and um, it helped tie together everything that we were saying. He understands that we're living in a very special time that won't last forever. And there are some things that are hard about this quarantine, but everybody's making sacrifices, not just us. And this has been a great opportunity for my son and I to learn about making sacrifices for the greater good, about being compassionate for others, even if we can't see them. A great lesson in humanity. I'm tired of seeing people not taking this seriously because that's incredibly selfish. Medical workers and other essential workers are putting their health at risk and are in for a hard, stressful time trying to protect us. The least we can do is quarantine ourselves and wash our hands frequently to slow the spread until everyone can get tested. All of that being said, we're not without hope. I'm extremely optimistic. If you're watching this, I want you to know this is a defining moment for you and me. This whole coronavirus situation is going to expose who each and every one of us truly are. How do we think? How do we act when something like this is thrown at us? Do we freeze? Do we panic and hoard toilet paper like an idiot? Side note, why is toilet paper always the first thing people think of? And people were hoarding bottled water too? It's not the apocalypse, people. It's no touchy time. Anyway, do we panic like apes? Or do we use this as an opportunity to help others and care for each other on the human level? It'll be very interesting to see how we deal with this because it's going to show us who we really are at our core. All that I can do is my very best. And the rest is out of my hands. The fact that this is spreading so effectively might push us to build a better system so that if something like this tries to happen again, we'll be well prepared. Many of us are losing our jobs because of this and can't afford health care. So maybe this will be the thing that pushes us over the edge to finally accept universal health care. Because health care tied to employment is stupid. We're losing some of our freedom by having to quarantine. So maybe this will help us appreciate the things that we do have. And maybe this will be the thing to help us reevaluate what's really important and what's superficial. I don't give a shit about the latest iPhone. I'm just happy that I get to connect with the rest of the world with my thumbs. I see a lot of stupid people, but I also see a lot of love. And I think that last sentence kind of sums up this whole video. I'll leave links in the description for official sources of information and updates on the coronavirus and a charity in case you're feeling powerless and want to help out. I'll end with this. I appreciate you doing your best to keep yourself and others healthy. We will get through this. Hope is not lost and it won't last forever. And much like how the Saiyans from Dragon Ball Z get a power boost every time they recover from a near-death beatdown, we will emerge from this stronger and better than we were before. If you're bored, draw a cactus.